Hello, I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Welcome to the Daily Devotion for May 6th. There is a traditional house blessing, and it goes like this. Peace to this house from God our Heavenly Father. Peace to this house from His Son, who is our peace. Peace to this house from the Holy Spirit, the life giver. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We are all of us spending a lot more time around our houses. For some of us, we've never spent this much time at home. New experiences lead to new learnings. We are learning about life from inside of our houses. It would be great if home were a place of peace for us. But that is not true for all of us. Some of us have houses that are filled with kids who fill the house with chaos and confusion. Some of us may find ourselves in cramped or dark places. Some of us may be living with a constant sense of tension. No matter our circumstances, our prayer is that God will fill and transform our houses with peace. Our Bible reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. And this is the story of the tax collector Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus learns what it means when Jesus, the Prince of Peace, comes to his house. And so I will be reading this passage from the Common English Bible. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through town. A man named Zacchaeus, a ruler among the tax collectors, was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he couldn't because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed up a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus who was about to pass that way. When Jesus came to that spot, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down at once, happy to welcome Jesus. Everyone who saw this grumbled, saying, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I will repay them four times as much. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this household, because he too is a son of Abraham. The human one came to seek and save the lost. In many respects, Zacchaeus was not a person at peace. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, which means he collaborated with the Romans in oppressing the Jewish people. Zacchaeus made his living from the suffering of his fellow Jews. The lack of peace in his life is symbolized in his awkward perch in a tree. Jesus sees this lack of peace in Zacchaeus' life and calls him down. But more than that, Jesus invites himself to come to Zacchaeus' house and to eat with him. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, has invited himself to Zacchaeus' house. This is a sign of acceptance. Zacchaeus knows that he has been accepted by Jesus. Jesus' acceptance of Zacchaeus then brings peace to Zacchaeus' heart. The peace of Christ transforms Zacchaeus' whole life. Zacchaeus goes on to make the determination that he will right all of the wrongs that he has been living. He will do this because the peace of Jesus 
has come to the home of his heart. The peace of Christ is moving into our houses. The peace of Christ is moving into our hearts. And so let us welcome the peace of Christ so that we may experience his transforming love. For your prayer time today, I'm going to invite you to go to each room of your house and to pray the prayer of blessing. And then to place your hand upon your heart and pray the prayer one more time. In this way, we are inviting the peace of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to live within our hearts always.